The nasturtiums you can see growing in the cement blocks behind me here have been a garden staple for years. They have continued to come back each fall and bloom throughout the winter months here in the low desert. And in today's video, I'm going to give you my best tips for growing nasturtiums so you can add them to your garden too. I'm Angela from Growing in the Garden. I garden in Mesa, Arizona, Zone 9B, and I love sharing garden inspiration and helpful tips so you can be successful in your garden. One thing I love about nasturtiums is that they grow so easily from seeds. The seeds are nice and large and easy to plant. Plant seeds one half to one inch deep and five to six inches apart. For square foot gardening, plant one to four per square. Here in the low desert, I plant directly in the garden in the fall. Sow seeds in the garden two weeks before your last frost. You can also start seeds indoors four to six weeks before your last frost date and wait to plant outside until all danger of frost is passed. This winter we had several freezes and the larger nasturtium plants did fine even though I didn't cover them. But my young seedlings definitely suffered during our frosts. There are different varieties of nasturtium. It's really fun to try them out in your garden. I especially love the red ones. The most typical varieties are the yellow and orange. There are some that have more of a trailing habit and can even be grown on a trellis. Nasturtiums are a great choice for filling in a border, cascading down a container, there are some dwarf varieties that will grow low to the ground and are more mounded. Nasturtiums aren't too picky about where they grow. They're very adaptable and they grow well in shady areas, poor soils, dry condition, and other areas where plants may not grow. They grow best in moist, well-drained soil. In cool climates, plant nasturtiums in an area that gets plenty of sunlight. Here in the low desert, once temperatures begin to heat up, nasturtium will die back. So planting it in an area that receives some afternoon shade will make it last longer into the season. If you plant them at the corner of the bed or the end of the bed, they'll trail over the side. If you plant them right in the middle of your beds, they will quickly overtake the whole bed. Nasturtium actually grows best and blooms best without fertilizer. If your soil is overly rich, you'll have abundant leaves and fewer blooms. You may also want to cut nasturtium back occasionally throughout the growing season. If you have chickens, the chickens will be more than happy to eat those leaves and blooms. Nasturtiums are one of my favorite companion plants. It's an easy way to practice companion planting in your garden. Tomatoes, radishes, squash, and fruit trees all benefit from nasturtiums planted nearby. Nasturtiums are a trap crop. The insects will feed on and lay their eggs in trap crops instead of other areas in the garden. If you're interested in learning more about companion planting, I'll post a link to a video all about it right here. Another surprising thing about nasturtiums is that they are completely edible. The leaves, the flowers, even the seeds are edible. They have a fresh peppery taste and can be quite spicy. To harvest the blooms and leaves for eating, pick early in the day. Immerse in cold water for about 10 minutes immediately after picking. Use the flowers and leaves as soon as possible or store in the fridge in a damp paper towel. The unripe seed pods can be pickled for a tasty caper substitution. Nasturtiums are one of the easiest flowers to save seeds from. Each flower develops into several seeds. They self-seed easily year after year. In fact, if you don't pick up all of those seeds, you're going to have seedlings popping up everywhere. I often enlist the help of my youngest to pick up seeds and pay him a penny a seed. This makes sharing nasturtium seeds easy. I love growing nasturtiums and can't imagine my winter garden without this beautiful border of nasturtium blooms. Thank you so much for watching.